Um, well, of course, we're all gathered here to pay a tribute to a great friend, a great character, a great person. And as, as Melanie said, Nora touched a lot of lives and she was known all over the world and mm. she was welcomed all over the world. She was, a, she was the best crack you would ever meet. She was great, great fun. And I'm sure you all have great memories of the crack and the sport we'd had with Nora. But it's lovely to see you all here. And maybe, um, would it be okay if I sang a song to start off the night? Is there anyone answering me? No. Okay. Um, so I'm going to sing a song that I learned from Nora and she actually, it was a title song on her first solo CD, The Dawning of the Day, which I played on. Um, um, Deirdre McSherry played on it as well and myself and Billy Greenall, who only passed away there um, a couple of weeks ago. Billy Greenall, who was a great friend of Nora's, a great piano and pian pianist and piano accordionist who taught music here. He was from Liverpool originally here in Nina for many years after moving here to make his home here. One morning early as I roved out by the margin of Loch the sun shone on the trees in bloom and the summer comes again. I left the town and and wandered on through fields all green and gay. Who should I meet but a calling sweet at the dawning of the day? No cap or cloak this fair maid wore, her neck and feet were bare, and down her cheeks and ringlets bright hung locks of golden hair. Her milking pail twas in her hand, she was lovely, young and fair, and she bore the swain of Venus bright at the dawning of the day. By a mossy bank I sat me down, my true love by my side, and with gentle words I courted her, and I asked her to be my bride. She said, young man, don't break my heart, but let me go my way. For the morning light, it will be shining bright at the dawning of the day. will. So I learned that song from, thanks. <laughs> I learned that song from Nora singing. Um, I mean, I'm watching Nora singing since I was a very young teenager. And even before that, because my father and my mother were great friends with Nora's parents, um, Ned and Mary. And we're delighted that Mary, Nora's sister, is here with us tonight. And um, we'll have a word with Mary maybe in a little while, but maybe first of all, we'll have a little listen to Nora Mick, if that's okay. Yep. And I think the first track we were going to have was My Home Lies in Tipperary from Nora's last album, her last solo album, which I was a part of as well, lucky enough to be able to perform with Nora. So I think it was the tra title track, My Home Lies in Tipperary. So if that's okay, Mick. Grant, I lined it up everyone for you. So I'm just going to share my screen with you now. And I have... Bear with me. Just the video... My home lies in Tipperary, round the slopes of Slinamon, where the lark and linnet sweetly sing at the dawning of the day. Its but a small mud cabin and its floors are made of clay. 
But my heart lies in that cabin, temporary far away. By the side of our mud cabin, the river and her flows. Where the widow's brown haired daughter told John Kickham's heart to love. Where rolling from the rafters took his pie to me the hill. Sing rise of my gallant Tipperary boys, Tipperary far away. When I think of Cheris Kickham, no wonder do I mourn. And dream of where he's born, in Mullen upon. Where thousands of his countrymen, they came to kneel and pray. In magnificent Tipperary, Tipperary far away. I remember 1930 when we won the Triple Crown. We sailed the briny ocean to play in the polo ground. We came back our world champions and was proud for to say. We've all come from Tipperary, Tipperary far away. Be sailing home to the slopes round Sleeve Namon, where the men of all the days of your court handled the fleet and gun, where the maidens fair with their nut brown hair would sing and dance all day. In magnificent Tipperary, Tipperary Farway. Lovely, Nora. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> Beautiful. How are we doing, Mick? We're getting there. We're just gonna <laughs> stop sharing my screen with you now. And I'll okay, you make there, grand. Well, while while we're waiting for you to do that, I'll start talking to Deirdre Scanlon, maybe. Hello, Deirdre. Deirdre, can you hear us? Can, can you, you hear us, Deirdre? I've just clicked. Yes, on you. there you go. Hi, hi everybody. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Uh, how are you doing? Would you like to share a, a little memory that you have of Nora? Or say a few words there, and maybe you'll, you'll give us a lovely song after. <laughs> I will. I think that the first um, memory that I have of Nora is we used to go out to, Ooh. Mum and Dad used to take us out to Tumi Farm. Oh, he's on the call, uh, but he, you can probably talk to him. It's a kind of strong call. Someone breaking in on that there, maybe. Yeah. Um, out in Tumi Vara and I would have seen um, Nora singing out there but in my first All-Ireland under 12 down in Listole in 1985 um, Nora was the adjudicator and this little bucko walked up in front of her and I remember my song was the May Morning Dew oh, and wow. she didn't know me she well, I, I kind of didn't really recognize her either as I said I was I was young but um she gave me my first all Ireland and then when she saw dad she recognized dad as being the Shannon folk four that herself and the man would have gone to to yeah. see yeah. in in um in the pubs around so it kind of started up my relationship with Nora then after that mm -hmm. um so that's when it started and Osha look at like everyone will tell you she was great crack she was wonderful she had a great way of choosing songs, which I always mm. admired, and yeah. I robbed lots from her, thanks mm. be to God. Um, but she was very generous, so it wasn't like she would give out. She she took a few of mine as well, so we had um, <laughs> a bit of crack over who'd sing first. But I would love to sing a song, and I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes no, here. I got it from Laura. 
Step away, um, step away, Deirdre. <laughs> I know, this is the good thing about being in first. Um, I, get, I get to stand all over. It's the leaving of Limerick. Lovely. So, um, yeah, I learned this from Nora. I found a, a third verse um, online a few years ago. So I have an extra verse to what Nora had, just in case anybody wants the words of that, I can provide them later. Okay. So here we go. Lord mercy on you, Nora. We miss you madly. As I roved out one evening down by the assembly mile, I heard two lovers speaking. Ah, me and my love passed on. And the words that passed between them, they were but very few. It's not the leaving of Limerick that grieves me, but my darling leaving you. In the morning when I am going, I will take you by the lily white hand and I will wave it o'er my shoulder in adieu to the limerick strand. So farewell to the boy of Pullman Gate, it's to them I bid adieu. It's not the leaving of Limerick that grieves me, but my darling leaving you. When I think of the pleasant days we spent in search of treasure trove, or the hours we spent in courting away down in Gabbard's Grove. I did not then deceive you when I said I would be true. It's not the leaving of Limerick that grieves me but my darling leaving you and now that we must be parted i know you will understand why I must go broken hearted, far away from my native land. Though my fond love, I must leave you. You heart is true. It's not the leaving
Leaving of Limerick that grieves me, but my darling, leaving you. Beautiful, Deirdre. Thank you so much. Fabulous. Thank you. Now we're going to move on to the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deirdre. We're going to move on to Michael Scanlon. Are you okay, Dee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Now, we're moving to Tipperary, Michael. You're in Tipperary. Sorry, Michael. Michael. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. well, as I, as well, I always then. told you, you fell in your feet when you came into Tipperary. <laughs> I brought culture over there with me. Michael. Would you like yes. to share a memory of Nora and um, a nice song for us, please? Well, I got to know Nora first in uh, around this time of the year in 1968, which is probably as far back as most people will ever have come across Nora. Uh, that's way, way before uh, my time, that, anyway, yeah. Uh, it's long before you were born, I think. <laughs> but, uh, um, we used to play, the group we used to play in uh, Murphy's Pub in, in Ross mm -hmm. on a Sunday night. And uh, Nora and Mary, her sister. Mary is there tonight. Made, Mary's here tonight. She's watching yes, us. And, and lovely to see Mary and, and, and hi, Mary. And their mother and father, Ned and Mary, uh, yeah. used to cycle from Tommy Vara up to Murphy's Pub in Ross Frey. Most Sunday nights, irrespective of the weather. And Nora would come up and she would sing songs for mm. us. And uh, that's when I first got to know Nora. And we have been the best of friends. Yeah. ever since we were always very very great yeah. and uh one little bit of a story that i i, I tell and you were involved in this now well, well, I, uh, I got words is this of, true now michael is this true now michael it is this is absolutely 100 percent true <laughs> i got words of a of a, a poem i suppose really uh from uh, the late billy hodgins uh he got it uh he found it in the handbag in in an old garage he was cleared <clears> out and uh he gave it to me and I put an ear to it. Uh, and uh, at one of the Enox concerts, I was emceeing the concert and I pulled a little straw for Nora and Pat when they were singing David the Drover, you might remember. Yeah. And Nora, uh, <laughs> she, she never forgave me for it in one sense. Uh, she'd always have a, a bit of a, a crack with me over it. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I knew me, myself like that at some stage she was going to get me back. And you were involved as well in it. Mm. And it was at the launch of one of the Enoughs and in the, the, the motor hotel as it was that time, the motor inn. And Murphy, uh, Murphy Heineken were the sponsors for yeah. us, and Jim Cashman was the, the rep. And Jim gave me uh, a barrel of Murphy and a barrel of Heineken uh, mm. for the night. Mm. And I was at the counter making sure that everybody was drinking their free uh, mm. porter and, 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 and Heineken. And this lady came up and she sat beside me at the counter and she was chatting away and I, had, I didn't know the woman. And uh, at some stage, uh, yourself and Butler were, 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 were sitting down together. And I, I, I saw, I, I knew there was something going on, but I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know that I was going to be the butt end of it. And you asked me to sing a song. And you said, will you sing the whole Nina song? <laughs> so uh, I did. Uh, I sang the song. And, uh, as I was singing it, uh, the giggling was going on at the far side, and this lady was, was still sitting at the counter beside me. And when I finished the song, uh, I noticed that she was crying. And I, I, I'll sing the song, and I might just finish the, the rest of the story. At the oh, end. Jenny, Mike. <laughs> I have just returned from a trip to Ireland or the sea. I was there to visit dear old friends who still are kind to me. To see again the hills and glens I roamed so long ago. While there I met a colleen who came from Birthland Road. It was in the town of Nina, in the place where they serve tea. I sat down at the table, she came to wait on me. She stumbled as she reached me, o'er my pants the tea did flow. 
I'm truly very sorry, sir, said the maid from Gartland Road. Now I said you are forgiven, as quickly I stood up. I surveyed her very closely as she poured it in my cup. She was a very charming lass with a healthy, wholesome glow. I asked her where she came from, and she answered Portland Road. The location of that town's land I do not know, I fear. She said it's on the roadside, on the way out to Drummanir. How do I get to work each day? I'm sure you'd like to know. I cycle back and forth each day from here to Gartland Road. Now her hair, it was the colour I have seen upon the corn. In far off Minnesota on a lovely autumn morn. She had a tantalizing figure and her skin was soft as snow. And a very charming manner had this maid from Gartland Road. Now, if my health and wealth remains, and it be the will of God, perhaps I will return again to the land St. Patrick Rod. There I will stay near Nina with some friends I used to know. And I'll have my tea in Mitchell Street with the maid from Gartland Road. Well, now, like mostly after I sing it, that's oh, your aunt, crying, but the, the lady that was beside me, she was in tears when I finished the song. And uh, I turned to her and I said, I'm sorry, did I upset you? you know? And she said, uh, she said, my hard. name is Anne Spain. I'm the maid from Gartland Road. Gartland Road, I, I remember that. I was, really, <laughs> I was caught, I was, I was caught the whole time in Central. We caught you. <laughs> you caught me that night, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good man, Michael. That was beautiful, Michael. Thanks, Ali. Lovely, lovely local song. Beautiful song. Beautiful Thank song. You. Thanks, Michael. I'm going to my hello, Breed and Belly Willem. Breed Slattery. Thanks, Michael. Go on. Hello, Ali. Hello, hello, Breed. How are you? I'm fine. And we all know how well, how great friends you and your family all were with Nora. You were great friends and, and, and companions always. And the, the whole family, the kids and everything, you were all great friends. You can tell us a bit. Yeah. Well, Nora was a regular down with Gary Kendi and another lot to hear from Gary Kendi at the session every Sunday evening. And we'd have a great song after together and she'd sing us some songs. And, you know. Yeah. We've been near a breach of the sound because it's going on you yeah sorry no Nora used to be with us and Gary Kennedy on a Sunday evening and uh, we'd have a great all matter and she'd um, you know sing a few songs and then we'd also meet up at the rounding house inside the pasture centre in Nina once a month when it was on and um, we were privileged myself and the family to be there at the last gathering in um, Nina and um, she left a huge mark on our family on music in general but um, between herself and Billy Green Greenhall Lord of Earth and them, the two of them um, uh, had a huge impact on uh, all the children being involved in traditional music. Yeah. Now I'm going down my list here. Thanks, Breed. It's lovely to see you. We're lovely to see everyone outside the COVID because we're stuck in the house all the time. I'm going over to Ross Gray, to Belly Shkinak, to Tyg Maher now. Hello, Tyg. Bye, Breed. Hello, Tyg. Hello, Eileen. How are you doing? Am I in Belly Shkinak or where am I? You are, you are, you're in Belly Shkinak. Uh, uh, we're very mixed up over this part. You, you, you don't know whether you're in Tipperary or, or, or Offaly. You don't know where you are. <laughs> uh, but sure, look, at, we're, 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 we're awfully tipsy, yeah. Well, Ty, you go back a long ways with Nora. Go. There, there's no doubt. Um, I would have known Nora, which is probably over 25 years ago. 
And when I was a young lad, probably nine or 10, I would have gone to my very first uh, singing workshop. And that was organized by Tomás Omuel Downing. It was in Bursley and uh, two fantastic singers, uh, Deirdre Scanlon and of course, the late great Nora Butler were giving the singing workshop. And I was privileged to have a great start in the traditional singing world um, with two fantastic singers. And it went from there. Two, two songs that stick out in my head that particular day were the Skillet Pot and Loch Sheelan's side. Um, and I have to say, Nora gave me fantastic uh, encouragement and support. Um, and I suppose I went on from there and lucky, lucky enough, I did various black yoles. But um, moving on from that, I would have obviously had the privilege of singing with Nora in Brewbrew for many, many, many years. Night. Many a good night in Brewbrew. <laughs> Without a doubt, and sure, look at it, it was fantastic crack whenever Nora was around. Oh, yeah. um, and we had brilliant nights in Brewbrew and also many, many trips as well. Yeah. Uh, and trips that we'll never forget, without a doubt. Liam, Liam Guiney, who's listening in there, can vouch for that. Um, yeah, actually, but, actually, um, uh, Kieran Hanrahan is doing. Um, just to let people know, Kieran Hanrahan is doing a tribute to Nora next Saturday night on Cayley House at nine o'clock on Radio RT Radio One um, of um, and he of recordings he made when we visited uh, Shanghai with Bru Bru and Nora. Nora was on the group as well. And we're going to, you know, the song you mentioned there earlier on, Loch Sheel Inside, um, Tyke, um, there's actually going to be, uh, we're going to play Nora at the end singing that as well, you know, so. Fantastic. Uh, she made a great job of that, didn't she? She made a great she, job of every song. Without, every, without a doubt, no, Nora put her own unique uh, interpretation yeah, yeah, and stamp on every song and it was yeah. absolutely unique to Nora. Um, and I suppose, look at, I have to say, abiding memory for me would be the wind down on the Monday of yeah. any, any All Ireland flag, yeah, there'd yeah. be a great session with Mick Foster, Foster etc. Yeah, etc. Yeah. Et um, Shemless Brogan, whoever would be around. Yeah. Um, and look at an absolutely mighty session that might start at 12 o'clock in the day, and God knows when it would end. Um, yeah. and, and it was a fantastic yeah. wind down on the Monday of any All Ireland flag, yeah. uh, but look at I was very privileged, um, to have the honor to sing at uh. Uh, Pat's funeral and uh, recently at Nora's funeral, oh, at, uh, yeah. along with herself, Eileen. Yeah. Uh, and look at, uh, I we suppose. Weren't, we, weren't, we, we, were, we were sad, but we were honoured and, you know, privileged to be able to do it for, for Pat and for Nora. Without a shadow of a doubt. And, and Mrs. Uh, Butler. I, I played at Miss, for Mrs. Butler's funeral as well. You know, should there were, uh, Mary, remember all that there, Mary listening to us there. Are you going to sing a song for us, Ty? I, I might chance a song that uh, Nora always asked me to sing. Um, and it, again, it was a song that she encouraged me to learn. Uh, and that's the voice of Arnold Strider. Beautiful, beautiful. Great song. Oh, the town, it climbs the mountain and looks out on the sea. At sleeping time, our waking, oh, it's there I long to be. To walk again those kindly streets, the place where life began, where the boys of our Sraja went haunting far. Good cudgel stout, we on the boat to hunt for the drowning. We searched for birds in every furs, from litter to the mean. We jumped for joy beneath the sky. Life held no friends or plan. For the boys of our strider, who haunted far the land. And when the hills were bleeding and the rifles were on the plain, to the rebel homes of Kerry, all oh, the Saxon strangers came. 
ਬਹੁਤ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਡੇਟੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਸੰਜੂ ਬਹੁਤ ਲਾਗ ਇਨਸਾਨਸ ਉਮਰ ਪਾਈਸ ਬਾਰ ਸਰੋਚਾ ਅੰਤ ਪਰਦਾਨ ਉਹ ਨਾਉ ਵਿਚ ਫਾਈਲਾਂਸ ਫਾਰੰਸ ਫਾਇਲ ਬਟੇ ਆਕਾਂ ਨਰਵੇ even the heart of london town of robert in broadway and i am left to sing their deeds and praise them while i can those boys upon the street who hunted for the land and here's a toast to them tonight those lads who laughed with me by the groves of car and river or the slopes of the sea john jolly and that and the and call and stand where the pines of all us who hunted for the land and when the wheel of life runs down and peace comes over me just take me back to that old town between the hills and sea i'll take my rest in those green fields the place where life began where the boys of all us right went hunting for the ram beautiful tag great stuff tag and eileen could i just say um we were very honored that near the end of january this year uh, we had a night with Damon O'Dwyer, Tip FM, down yes, your way. Right, he, you had it in your house. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was kind of a combined housewarming along with the arrival of our, our now nearly seven-month-old son, yeah. uh, Fionn. Uh, and uh, we were privileged that Nora came that night uh, and she was in good form. And we and got, a, got had, a song from Nora. Night. She had a great night, Ty with Jay, so she had. She really was, 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 was lo- lovely that she was able to make yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, and God, God rest her, uh, she was uh, one, of a, one of a kind and we'll never ever forget her. Good man, Ty. Well done, Ty. Thank you. Thanks, Ty. I'm going to make... Thank you very much, Ty. Beautiful singing and beautiful words. I'm going to move over, make if that's okay, to Donica Canada for a few words. Is Donica there? Hello, Donica. Hello, Mick. Can you hear me, Mick? Oh, I'm on you. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Eileen. Yeah, we're looking. If Donica is there, can he? Put Donica, up? can you come up? If you're there. A hand there, so we can see I'm you. Not now, I think. Hello, Eileen. Hello. Hello, Donica. Yeah, you can see this me, yeah. Canada, uh, Donica Canada uh, from Cashel, and Donica is involved in the Cashel branch of Coltis, of which Nora was a member. And I'd like Nora, Donica to offer the, the floor over to Donica to say just a few words uh, well, about his good friend Nora and Pat. God be good to him, them both. Well, I had great pleasure in being a friend of Nora's for a good number of years, from the time with the sessions up in Tumi Vera and from the beginning of the Brubaru season and the fundraising for Brubaru, we would have been meeting up. And of course, as county chairman back in the very early 80s, Nora would have been an adjudicator for me. She would have been helping out at everything. And one of the great things about Nora was that no matter where she was going, whoever she met on the way coming in the door, it didn't matter who they were and who she was going to meet because she shook hands with everybody and she spoke to everybody. She never passed anyone without speaking to them. And she wasn't snobbish or anything like that. She was everybody's friend. And we really and truly miss her dreadfully. We were very fortunate to have her in Cashel for the 
the last singing session, which was the first um, Tuesday in in March there. Mm. But so sadly, she passed away. She used to come and do live programs with me on radio as well, but she was yeah, a great yeah. filler in for that, like. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it well, was. We all appreciate she. We all, she always appreciated, and I do too, Donica. All the 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 time you give us on radio, and you give us great um coverage on your radio programs, and and I mean I know that other artists as well. We all appreciate what you do on the radio program, Donica. Thank yeah, you. Um, we're delighted to be able to do it for people because yeah, it's great to get you. out the music and the songs out mm -hmm. to everybody, not mm -hmm. just to our own people. And yeah. people, the amount of people that Nora would have met through her singing like it's unreal yeah. and yeah. her friendliness and cooperation and the great project she done there that la, there in last year with us when we yeah. got that cd together for tom it was absolutely fabulous mm. Mm. and we're very sorry to lose her and she's now in her shlina fierna and we sadly miss her and we'll never forget her never. there is nobody yeah. ever like her thank you donica Welcome, lovely Annie. words, Donica. Thank you. Thank well, Donica, you're associated with Brew Brew, and I'm going to stay in Brew Brew. We had Tide before you, who's associated in Brew Brew, and I'm going to stay in Brew Brew, and I'm going to call on Bobby Gardner. Hello, thank you, Donica. I'm not dismissing you. your anything. I'm just waiting. No, I, know that. I understand that, Eileen. You have loads we're of going people. To, we're going to get um, we're going to get Bobby up on the screen if Mick can find him. Hello, Bobby. In, in, Bobby needs to unmute himself, Eileen. He's there. We've asked oh, Bobby, him. Bobby, you have to unmute. Hello, Bobby. I have unmuted, yeah. Good. Hello, Bobby. Hello. How are you? This yeah. is Eileen. Oh, Eileen, how are you? How are you, Bobby? Yeah, how are you? Too? I'm not too bad at all. Thanks for asking me to come this evening and, and, and uh, say a few words and maybe play a small bit of a tune. Lovely. Go on. You asked me Off to you go, to Bobby. Off well. you go there. Yeah. Well, I'd just like to say, Nora has left us, but we will never forget her. As soon as she sang the first couple of words of a song, her tuneful, inimitable voice was instantly recognizable to everybody. I have fond memories of performing in Brubaru Castleputter, going back over many summers and on various other occasions, including the Tour of America in 1974, and also in Libya, I think. We went out to... Uh, oh, you were there with the strangers, Bobby. You were there with the strangers. <laughs> Nora, was, she, Nora was so kind. Uh, humorous and friendly, and it was always a pleasure to be in her company. We we were very good friends, especially in the last couple of years when I got to really know her when when Pat got sick and that. You were a great uh, support to her, Bobby. It's great. Yeah. You were a great support to her, Bobby. She often said that. I, well, I, I I used to bring her maybe once a week or every two weeks, something like that, and we we'd have a bit of a chat because she wasn't feeling well sometimes. She enjoyed mount music, especially a tune called The Boys of Ballysadere, which I used to sing in Brewerhoo, and there's a, a few unusual things in it. So, uh, which um, I'll, I'll want to lift that now for her memory, uh, followed by a short tune on the melodion dedicated to both herself and her husband, Pat. Man, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby.
Thank you very much, Bobby. Thank you. No, I'm going to move on now to Sandra Joyce. Is Sandra there? Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. How are you? How are you? And it's so lovely to be here. Oh, we're delighted to have you here. It's great that you're able to join us, Sandra. I can't see you yet now, but anyway, you'll probably come up now in a minute. Would you like to? Would you like to chat away there, Sandra? Yeah, okay. Um, so look, first of all, what a fabulous evening and um You could come in a bit nearer to us, Sandra, because um we can't hear you that well. So Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is the sound okay? Because I have no idea. It's grand. Okay, good. So um just to say thanks a million to Aileen and Mick and to Melanie and to you, Eileen, for doing a great job on this. And um I really feel privileged to be here because I'd say really to be honest, I might know Nora maybe you know, I wouldn't have known her hugely well, but she always had the welcome of the world for me every time I met her. If you That's bumped right. into her, if you met her at a singing session, or if you bumped, I bumped into her in the Parkway Shopping Centre a couple of times, and <laughs> you just feel like you knew her all your life, and you'd have mm. such a wonderful chat with her. And what I remember most about uh, Nora is she she smiled every time she sang. Well, at least any time mm. I saw her singing, mm. she'd have a, just a lovely smile on her face, and she communicated so well. And um, I think that's why people loved her, to be honest, and that's why she, I mean... She yeah, she was able to communicate with her audience very well, wasn't she? She communicated. She was a great communicator. Mm. She really did that um, in a very special way, and it's it's often something that, that people don't talk about too much, but I think she mm. really had that. She yeah. Really yeah, even dear, 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 dear Scanner was saying there earlier on that um, Nora was great to pick songs she would actually pick a song to suit the audience. She would gauge the audience in front of her and she'd pick the song that she know she knew that, that the audience were going to enjoy, you know, which, which is a great gift, like, you know. She was phenomenal. And um, as I said, I, I, I couldn't say I knew her well, but at the same time, I felt like, like I knew her very well. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. And she made mm. me feel like that. So yeah. 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 Um, everyone's going to miss her so, so much. But I am, um, I, was going, I'm really nervous now because I decided I might try one of her songs. Because, okay. Um, oh, good God. And now I'm saying this was a really bad idea. Because Not like, at all, Sandra. <laughs> the, reason I was, uh, the reason I picked this song is, I mean, I've heard Nora sing it several times. And it's also um, all about the area around where I live now. So mm. it mentions Palace Green and it mentions um, Brack Isle and, and Dune and Cap Oh, yes, yes. I know the song. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, like the, there are signposts all around the year to those yeah. areas. I'm officially living in Palace Green, even though mm. not really. But anyway, so um, yeah, so that's I. It's a song called "Where the Mulcair River Flows," that's and right, it's also, yeah. lovely. It reminds me of another great friend and mentor, Mihal Asuluan, who was always mm. talking about this song too. Um, I suppose it's one of the great songs of this area. Nobody could sing it like Nora, but mm. and I'm very cheeky, but I'm going to try it for her tonight. So I'll give it a go. Lovely, Sandra. Mm -hmm. I'll sing to you of a lovely place, and it's there I'd like to be. Where I could pass my time away in merriment and glee. The maidens fair I do declare, it's with them I'd like to go. To take a stroll along those banks where the Mulcair River flows. I love the hills of my native place and the valleys all around. Where in my youth with dog and gun the game 
been plenty found. It's through that rich and fertile vale each day I used to go. And oft times lay on the grassy banks where the Mulhe River flows. Your hills of Loch and Afrak Isle amongst you I remain. Where I have spent my youthful days round lovely palace green. Fond memories will bring to me those days of long ago. When I would range those valleys where the Mulke River flows, I'll always think on the good old days I spent around those hills. In merry chat, we oft times sat down by the rippling rills. And on a summer's evening, when the sun would be sinking low, I would ramble through that lovely place where the Mulke River flows. Along those banks I daily strayed in the days when I was young. The wild duck fell a victim to the level of my gun. The partridge snipe and pheasant were plenty there also. And it's many's the day of sport we had where the Mulke River flows. Oh, I will praise those happy days when in my youth and bloom I hunted on the mountain side by Cap Amor and Doom through Castle Guard and Castle Town, those places you well know, and through Gurtha Valas Moori Land, where the Mulke River flows. So now tonight, my comrades, fight, I'll bid you all adieu. Before I finish those few lines, one word I'll tell to you. Train up your youth to hunt and shoot with a dog and gone to go. And to hunt the game that still remain where the Mulke River flows. And to hunt the game that still remain where the Mulke River flows. Beautiful, Sandra. Thank you so much. That's gorgeous. And just to let you know, Sandra, that Mary, uh, Mary Butler, Nora's sister, is on the banks of the Mulke with Isa Richardson. They're listening to it and they just sent in a message there to say that they were enjoying it sit, uh, by, by the Mulcair River, for, by the Mulcair River where Aisha lives. So well, now, thank well, you, thank you, Sandra. It's great singing and thank you very much. Everybody. I'm going to move on. Is Melanie there? Maybe Melanie would like to say a few words. Thanks a million, Sandra. So we might get Melanie on the screen and um, yes. have a word with her. Yeah. Hi, Eileen. How Hi, are you? Eileen, how are you? I'm great. And thanks very much for, for all of the, all of your work and pulling this together tonight. We've such a great crew in. Uh, good crew, good gang in. Yeah. Great gang in. And special welcome to Mary. Mary, I don't think I've met you, but um, yeah. uh, we're delighted you're here tonight. Um, so, um, Eileen, you, I won't sing because I fear the house. I don't have that skill, unfortunately. Okay. But uh, you asked me just to say a little bit about my memories of Nora. And I suppose I'm very conscious that many of you here this evening would have known Nora a lot longer and, and most likely much better than I 
really did, um, having only really had the privilege of knowing Nora since I came to Nina about 20 years ago or so, you know. But I suppose when I came, I very quickly became aware of Nora. Um, she was always referred to as a fountain of knowledge on traditional Irish song in particular and culture. Mm -hmm. And people always spoke of her with real admiration and respect. And I suppose what was mo most taken about back taken by when I met her initially was just her warmth and her friendliness you know she was one of the most down-to-earth people I've met and and for a lady who was renowned for her talent across the globe I think she carried that greatness really with great humility and great dignity you know and um, she had time for everybody I used to wonder how long it took her to get down the street and Nina because as Sandra and many others said she had a word for everybody um, I often met her with my own kids in the street and even when she passed at the time and I was telling her, they knew who I was talking about because we'd meet, she wouldn't pass you on the street, you know, she would, it was yeah. her friendliness, I think. Um, and Eileen, you, you know well um, that the Tipperary Bialtana Festival, you were the cornerstone of our music, touring music programme um, for the Tipperary Bialtana Festival yourself and Nora. Um, it started as a very small event in 2008 and then in 2011 was the first year, I think, yourself and Nora um, we, we started working with local musicians to when we expanded it a little bit um, and yourself and Nora went into daycare centres and uh, health centres to bring music to people who possibly couldn't get out to see it. Um, it was a festival celebrating creativity in older age um, and you took to the road every May visiting eight or ten. 10 venues, I think, during the month of May, Eileen, yeah. wasn't it, you know? Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but the, the, feedback, uh, the feedback we got was phenomenal. I think you would have had you in every week if, if they could have. <laughs> yeah. um, we actually got that <laughs> back to a couple of places afterwards. <laughs> when Bialton was Absolutely, over. yeah. And you know what's lovely? Yeah, I, I went to a couple of those um, when I could, would get to some of those um, mm. events. And what really struck me was it was Nora's interest in people, I think, and yeah. place that worked really well in those settings. You know, if she didn't know the people in the audience, she knew someone belonged to them out their area. Mm. Um, and it was that event, that, that kind of connection um, that was really electric. And I know I often, any of the events I went, or Nora was always getting requests for a song, and I'd say it was very rare, if ever, that she didn't deliver oh, yeah. on the song I mean, that was requested. She's a songs, God bless her. Yeah, she had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, there's, I know there's lots of people from around around the world, which is lovely, um, joining in tonight. In, uh, and they may or may not be aware of a couple of other areas where Nora had an impact. Hello. It's all a very small way of acknowledging her really great contribution to the county, you know. And and as with everything, when you ask Nora, she just said, yes, let me know what you want me to do and where you want me to be and when. And mm. and, and I remember she, she hosted a beautiful event down in Brew, Brew, I think. She's, but, you know, um, it was lovely to see Donica there. I think Donica was there that night. And she was ban and tea that night and hosted it, the event for Culture Night. And mm. I really felt like I was a witness to the handing on of the tradition to the younger generation. She had a lovely rapport with encouraging young musicians and singers, mm. and you could mm. see the great respect that they had for her too, you know? She loved young, and she loved I know young I could talk. Yeah. Mm. She did, she, she, mm. she did, and she really encouraged their, their music, you know? And mm. um, the other thing I know that you both had a big in, input into, and I, I sent Mick an image there earlier, um, uh, I could talk all night about, you know, the Im influence she has had, but there's a mural in Nina on Pound Street, and Eileen, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> an art, an art, you, you were dra dragged in. Yeah. This is an art, uh, mural we put up in the screen here. That's it, in, in uh, Nina. And uh, we did an artist working with a group of young people, um, myself and the, the Nina Municipal District there a couple of years ago. And uh, when the artist went in, he was working with Nina Community Training Centre, um, asking the young people, you know, what was it about Nina that was special to them? And they came up with, this, you know, they said it's our music, our tradition, a, teenage, mm -hmm. a group of teenagers, you know. Um, and the artist came back to us and said, you know, this is what they really value. Could you recommend who I could go and talk to about the tradition locally? So, of course, we thought of yourselves, Nora, and I think you got dragged in as well, Eileen. I did, yeah. And funny. Uh, the artist came back to me with, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was very funny. And the artist came back to me with, he had a picture of, he had the, 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 the mural was, I think it's Johnny Doherty from Donegal. So Johnny Doherty That's ended right. up on a wall in Nina. That was very funny. <laughs> but it was a beautiful mural. Yeah, but I, 
Yeah, but I suppose the point I'm, you know, I think the, the, what it showed was your, your, both of your generosity in terms of your time and your knowledge oh, that, that you're willing to share in all kinds of ways, you know, yeah. across the county. Yeah. So look, I think it's great to be here tonight and some people may know, you know well, um, Eileen, that Nora and yourself were due to participate in Bealtaine this year yeah. and due to lots of things and Nora's passing as it happened but I think it's really lovely that we were here tonight celebrating yeah. her as part of the Altona. she was an integral yeah. part of the festival for us Absolutely. for many years Absolutely. and really just to celebrate her memory and her great contribution um, and so look all I just you know want to say is, is, is she, we really miss her and she was um, she was just a wonderful lady always thank you Melanie That's beautiful. thank you so much thank you Melanie thank you thanks Melanie yeah. Now, I think we're going to just go to um, say hello, Mick, to Mary, Nora's sister. Mary, she's there with Ida Richardson. Yeah, we're going to try That's to find okay. her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and we're going to try to find her now, folks. Yeah, okay. she's there one second. Um, we're going well, Mick. We're not doing too bad now at all. We're going rightly, lad. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on. It's, uh, if you can see, uh, Ida and Mary, can you give us a little wave there so we can see you? Uh, where you got it all? Name is just like uh, yeah, we're there. We're there. Hello, Mary. Hello, everyone. Quite a great trip. You're all very good there. Very enjoyable. Thanks, Eileen, and the whole lot of you. You're all very good. Poor Nora, she deserved it all. I miss her terribly. So we'll be in contact with you all in the near future, please, God. Thanks, Thanks Eileen. Mary. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Well done, Mary. Well done, Mary. Hi, Aisha. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Um, look at, um, we'll go back then um, to um, Aileen. Aileen, have you a song or are you going to say something? Or? Yeah. Well, it's like they're silent. Have, have, you, have, you the family, have you the family choir there? You have. Hey, girls. Come on, girls. Get in there and sing a song with your mammy. One thing I'd have to say is I, I haven't um, any accounts of Nora to share with you, but... Simply from the experience of coming on here tonight, I have loads of wonderful memories of her. Good. Even though I never met the woman, because I've heard all of yours and I've more to hear, and I think it's a testament to the her legacy. Yeah. I have such that built up such a a, a warm feeling towards mm. the woman. Mm. Have, have never met her. Was always an admirer of her, mm. her her songs and singing, of course, and aware of it, but mm. um, never mm. did meet her in me in me travels. Um. Mm. But I share with her a love of traditional song, which these have picked up, haven't you? So um, I will, we might get this other, we might see how we're going to right. ourselves here. Tell you what you'll do, Effie, if you step over to this side, look at you step yeah. down there. And wow. Here in front of me. Yeah. Now you're talking. So like, what are you going to sing, girls? Rory, oh, Rory. Lovely, lovely. Away we go. Tell us their names. Yes. Nan. Epi. Well, you're very welcome. Lovely to see you. Hi, girls. You gorgeous girls. Off you go. Twas early in the month of June when first I met my own garsoon. Oh, the sweetest boy in all my crew was Rory of my glory. He took me to the fairy dell, the same old story he did tell. I love the grand you walk on mess and Rory all my glory. Rory here and Rory there, rollick and Rory everywhere. As well as the mushroom and the hair, but Rory love my glory. He took me to Calarkland Fair, the Kerry boys were dancing there. I look long enough and you would compare to Rory all my glory. He danced the blackbird Kerry style, and you should see the kind smile. But I kept watching all the while for fear they'd steal my Rory. Rory here and Rory there, rollick and Rory everywhere. As well as a mushroom and to hair was Rory of my Rory. Then Father Dan, he made us one. He said, God bless my girl and son. And may all your troubles be little ones, my Rory of my glory. 
And now our love is all complete. They're dancing round and round our feet. Mike and Dan and Jerry and Kid and the baby's name is Rory. Rory here and Rory there, Relic and Rory everywhere. As wild as a musher and mountain hare was Rory of oh, my Rory. Rory here and Rory there, Relic and Rory everywhere. As well as a monster and mountain here was Rory Old Man Rory. Brilliant. Great stuff. Thanks, girls. Thanks, Aileen. Thanks, Aileen. Thank you. We're going to be going over now to Mr. Seamus Frogan. Hello, Seamus. Who is it? Seamus Frogan. Who do you see? Seamus Frogan. I'm muted, Mr. Seamus. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. There, there we are. Hello, Eileen. How are you? Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I just have to say, uh, uh, people are saying about when they first met Nora, and you know, I I feel like I've known Nora all my life. Uh, I've known her for thirty five or forty years. Um, I got to know her. Um, she was a great friend of my mother's, and um, they sang together at flas and competitions and. Uh, all that and remained great friends up to the last time they met. Uh, I, in fact, uh, my mother was at uh, Pat's funeral. That'd be good to Pat. Um, but um, just a little story. Uh, we were talking there about uh, how easily Nora made friends. The thing about Nora was that there was no age difference. It didn't matter whether they were young or old. Everybody became a friend of Nora's and, and everybody loved her, you know. But um, we were up in um, Derry Tresk in Tyrone at a Geordie Hanna singing weekend years and years ago. <clears throat> and um, Pat um, hadn't been well at the time. And it came to about 12 o'clock at night and uh, Pat wanted to go back to the hotel to, to have a bit of a sleep. And the, of course, all the singing session was in the the GAA club in Derry Tresk. So Nora said, I'm, she said, I'm going back to the hotel. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go back with Pat. Well, about half an hour later, she got Pat settled in the bed and Nora arrived back in the, at the, the GAA club. And we sang away and about half two in the morning, um, she said to me, Brogan, uh, will we go home? Will we go back? And I said, yeah, we'll go back to the hotel. So I got into the car with her and we headed back to the hotel. Arrived back to the hotel, I suppose, about 20 to 3 in the morning. And we sat in the car, in the car park of the Kohanan Inn, until just gone 4 o'clock, talking about songs and singers and memories. And I, I, I think I said to Eileen lately, if that was anybody else at four o'clock in the morning, you'd be telling me, for God's sake, will you stop talking until I go to bed? But you hung on Nora's every word, you know, you just you couldn't get enough. Um, she, she was just a great character. But um, she, used to, she used to sing a song, and if, if I was in the company, she'd always mention uh, my mother, the, the yeah. fact that uh, this, my mother sang this song a lot. Um, and Nora used to sing it herself. And in fact, lately it was up, I saw it up on Facebook. Um, Mary O'Connor from the West Limerick Singers put it up on Facebook from the Gary McMahon weekend uh, last year. Mm. And um, <clears throat> she spoke a bit about my mother um, before she sang on that uh, Facebook video. But anyway, the song is The Mal of Lismore. Okay. And I'm going to try it. <clears throat> Come all you fair maids, take a warning. Don't dance with a soldier not well. And by my example, take warning. And banish them out of your head. 
For once I was young and light-hearted, but now all my pleasures are o'er. Since my darling has gone and has left me, alone by the malodorous moor. My father's wee cottage was placed on the beautiful banks of the Finn. as light as a lark every morning contented i would sit down and sing till a soldier first entered our dwelling whose features I'd ne'er seen before. But alas, he has gone and has left me all alone by the malodorous moor. From Dublin the regiment was ordered to which my brave boy he belonged. And for having a dispute with the sergeant, my bonny brave boy, he was wrong. He was handcuffed and tied with a halter, his back with the lashes was sore. And that was the cause of my darling going away from the malodorous moor. Adieu to the banks of black water. Farewell to my parents at home. Since my father disowned his fond daughter in some foreign land I must roam. But I'll clasp this fond child to my bosom in hopes that I'll meet him once more. But alas, he has gone and has left me. Alone by the malodorous moor. God bless you, Nora. Lovely, Seamus. Thank you very much, Seamus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm worrying about the time now, um, so I'm going to move swiftly along, Seamus. Thanks a million, Seamus. We're going to Tim Dennehy. Hi there, Eileen. Hiya, Tim. You can hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly, Tim. Great stuff, great stuff. Thanks for a great night. Are you enjoying it? Ah, just beautiful. You know, I'm just thinking there that 
there's about a dozen singers gone, plus, of course, Melanie and Donna those who, who had a, a spoken word tribute to, mm. to Nora. And I think we're very fortunate, you know, to, to have known such people and to know that people are able to pay this kind of a tribute. I'm very, very moved that people would make, I, I'm not surprised, of course, that people make this lovely effort to um, pay tribute to one of, you know, life's great singers, mm. uh, gentle lady, uh, a person that, I, I was thinking there today as I was coming, kind of getting, getting ready for this and looking forward to this, I always thought that, like with a lot of musicians, particularly, particularly of the older generation, that um, Nora's life, you know, her, her personality and her songs and her music kind of intertwined. You couldn't separate one from the other. And I think thought that, I think always that's a great trait. You know, she was very sincere in her singing and in her, in her person. She was steady, you know, never, a song was never too low or too high. And the breath was always, I, I don't want to say perfect, but it was always totally natural. And you picked a kind of a, a lovely title tonight, Almost the Nora. And I always thought that Nora herself had a great almost for the, the tradition that she loved so much and that she contributed so much to. And somebody mentioned her generosity more than once, I'd say, and that's what struck me as well, that very often she, when she wasn't on the list of singers or on the poster, that for the concert and indeed for the, for the, the singing, the informal singing afterwards and music, Nora was often there, even though she didn't need to be there, because she wanted to be there. And she was great to talk to as well as to listen to, and she was a great listener herself. So I'm going to sing a song for her tonight, uh, and thanks to all the, the singers that have gone before me and the singers that are to come, and thanks to yourself and to Mick and Aileen as well. She, um, um, it was uh, Tyg, I think, that sang The Boys of Borna Sraja, the great Segus and Clifford song, and uh, I thought it might be nice. She used to often ask for this song as well, uh, this was uh, my own tribute to Segerson that I wrote when he passed on New Year's Day in 1985. So for Nora tonight, this is a song from South Kerry <clears throat> called uh, Between the Mountains and the Sea. Lovely. <clears throat> oh, the bones are now released from the cold of the still. The soul is now unchained from the cold hands of the clung, and you wander once again on the pallid road to Kells, while the waves wash loud and lonely on the face of Lazarus. To land familiar names, ring out your praise forever. Been the tea and born the Sarada, Karen River. And to let the little run sink his temple full of glee. And may you rest be peaceful between the mountain and the sea. It was here you loved to stroll all along the Ferta River to see the silver salmon in mesh in the Seine and to hear the huntsman's call or to cry come on the Marys Feel the horses' hooves on the sod of green rushing. To land familiar names, ring out your praise forever. In the tea and born the Sarada Calvin River. And to let the little one sing his symbol full of glee. And may you rest and be peaceful between the mountain and the sea. Now the old school that you spoke of has bowed its hand to progress. There's a bold in Barnes Roger, bold to padlock 
on their doors and you're leaving as a new year dawned the tinge in my heart with sadness the places that you mentioned i will cherish evermore for at each september races when you'll mingle with the people in each train load of Crow Park, when you will be there in the van. But most of all on Dirolene Day, when young and old go travelling, you'll be there with your comrades, you'll be hunting for the van. So land familiar names, ring out your praise forever. Being the tea and born a sorote, Karen River. And land the little van, sink his temple full of lead. And may the rest be peaceful between the mountain and the sea. Oh, may you rest be peaceful between the mountain and the sea. Thank you very much. Beautiful, Tim. Beautiful, Tim. Garamina Mahagat. Honour to be here. Great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. We're moving over now to Michael Marlon. Michal, are you there? Thanks, Tim. Give us a sup of that, Tim, will you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a drop of beamish, Eileen. <laughs> Any sign of Michal Marlon there? <laughs> Hello, Michal. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. Michal. How are you? Yeah, I, I just got a, a notice up on my screen to say that my Wi-Fi was unstable. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, just not to be wasting time because I know Anne Mull Queen is coming up immediately yeah, afterwards. And, 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 and Sadie, and Sadie. And Sadie as well, so that's going to be great. So, uh, yeah, I'd just like to join with everybody, especially Tim and Seamus there, who encompassed a lot of what I would like to say. Uh, strangely enough, um, the only person in the world of traditional music or singing that my mother ever spoke to me about was actually Nora Butler. She knew Nora and Mary uh, long before I met Nora. And um, yeah, she, and you know what, when, the, when you played that track earlier on there, it was like listening to my mother it was a very similar, you know, I, I often say something, it's almost shanos in English. Mm. That's what I would describe their singing as, mm. that kind of singing, you know, they stuck with the old, mm. and they're very, very certain about it as Tim said as well, you know. But uh, my meeting with Nora, uh, I, I remember herself and Tom Gleason, of course. That was a wonderful, entertaining combination. I'm sure, Eileen, you remember them. Me, I do. Everybody. Yeah, my network back is low, I'm told. So yeah. I'm going to sing a song here. It's called uh, Kilgobnet Chapel Road. I live in Kilgobnet in Waterford. And uh, just a few weeks before the treaty, at the truce in 1921, these six guys were killed by a bomb in a trench that was laid by the Black and Tans. But I sang this in a competition at a FLA, I think it was around 1981 or 82. I'd never been to competitions in my life, but I'd often been, I'd been to a lot of FLAs, but I never went near competitions. But I, I, we had started the coldest branch, so I thought it was proper that I should go into a competition. But Nora came up to me afterwards and she said, you should have won that, you know. I thought you had won. So <laughs> and this is the song. I haven't sang it for a good few years. <clears throat> On the road up to Kilgarbanet, a monument stands unseen. Just hidden in the hedgerow, among the bushes green. This monument stands in memory of six men who sadly died. In the trench explosion long ago by the black and tans destroyed. 
His trench was cut across the road by some local lads one day to help the column in the hills and to keep the tans that day. But was closed before the day was out to let a funeral pass. For Martin Kelly's brother's requiem at Kilgobnet's holy mass. But the black and tans in British guile planned in Dungarran town. A dreadful bomb they would implant in that trench just underground. Knowing full well the volunteers would soon return once more to cut the trench from fence to fence on Kilgobnet's Chapel Road. Just around Martin Kelly's corner, that bomb was quickly laid. In the quick love dirt of the trench was sent by the black and tanned work spade. Up in the hills, the volunteers all marched to orders made. To trench the road at Kilgobernet and keep the towns away. Oh, the people here had suffered long neat British curse rule. By famine and rack rent denied and the murder machine at school. But their hearts were stout, their spirits high, until that dreadful day when a British bomb at Kilgobernet sent six young men to their graves. The Dunford boys from Knockany, Tom Dahl, their neighbour too. Tom Bark from ancient Rishla, the lad so loyal and true. Young Richard Lynch from Kilgobernet, from Bally Mac, Mag Sean Quinn. Twas the saddest day that ever was, with murder and with pain. So if you ever go along Kilgobnet's Chapel Road, just make a stop at the hallowed spot where the landmine did explode. And if perhaps you chance to see some locals going past, you'll notice how they will slow down and make the sign of the cross and tell the children why it is that in July every year a mass is said for the men who died for the land that they held dear and tell them why our read is laid by old comrades is bestowed at the monument that marks the spot on Kilgobnan's Chapel Road. Mighty Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. And we're going to stay in the waterfront direction. I know you're up in Milton Melby at the moment, Michael, but we're going to stay, we're going to ring, and we're going to the two Mulqueen sisters, Anne and Sadie Mulqueen, our last artists of the night. Hello, Anne, and hello, Sadie. Here, Sandra Sadie. Uh, or, is there any sign of them at all? Can you give us a wave to Mulqueen sisters at all? Hello, ladies. Now I see if the name had me. Thrown. We have them. <laughs> You have them. Um, no, yeah. we, we, yeah. we had we had the cancer. Hello, Anne. we had the cancer brothers. Hello, Eileen. How are you? I'm great. Hot, hot. 
Even, a great night, a great night singing. We're enjoying it here. Is Sadie there? I was just saying to see Sadie. Sadie with you. She yeah. is? Yeah. Hello, Sadie. Move in She's there. Good. Hello, Sadie. Great to see you. I'm pushing this a little bit. So. Do, yeah. push it a little bit. So, <laughs> do, <love> it. <laughs> Forget about it. Anyway, uh, Eileen, I know Sadie. I speak for Sadie as well. We're very proud to, to be able to honour Nora uh, here tonight with all the other great singers you had. Um, Nora was, as you know, everybody said what I wanted to say. She was an exceptional person, really. And I met Nora years ago. And do you know something? She never changed one bit or she didn't want to change, or... ...where she went, and she loved, uh, she loved her own songs, and it was a right pleasure to know her. But maybe if I could tell something, uh, I was on a, a tour of America with her in 1974, and uh, Bobby Gardner was on that trip, and... Uh, Anyhow, uh, myself and Nora kind of latched up together. And as everybody who knew Nora loved an old bun or a few sweets now and again. <laughs> so we were in the airport. People were going from uh, Toronto to Montreal. And you know the little uh, kiosks that are along the, the way in the airport, she said, and the next one we meet now, we'll, we'll stop and we'll have a cup of tea and a bun. Because we'll be in plenty of time now. She will be waiting for ages above the town gate. So when we went with a fine feed, the Nora at about three or four buns, got up to the gate and the plane was gone with the rest <laughs> of the group on it. Nora and me left behind in the middle of Canada. So anyway, uh, it was the last concert I remember, Montreal. Uh, Nora had a half crown left and I had nothing. <laughs> and... Uh, really, really upset. And Tom Glack and the Lord Restin was the manager. So I believe they were up in the air anyway, and Tom Glack and miss, missed me first. And then somebody said, Nora Butler wasn't there either. Oh, thanks be to God, says, says Tom Glack, and at least the two of them are together. So we were very lucky because there was, there was another flight after an hour. We got on that flight anyway, and Nora still had a bun in the bag. So she, we were so delighted to get on this flight, she proceeded to, to eat the bun. And the next thing, the captain welcomed us on board and told us we'd be landing in Paris. <laughs> Whatever time, oh Jesus, says Nora, we're going to Paris. <laughs> That's great, says I in Paris before. <laughs> but what was wrong, what happened was they were coming down in Paris and then going on to Montreal. So we got a great reception when we arrived in Montreal anyway. They thought they'd never see us again. Now, uh, I'll only sing about two or three verses of this song because the night is moving on. But it will be in honour of Nora because she sang it lovely herself. And both of us live very near the town of Newport in Tipperary. So I'll try a few verses lovely. in honour of Nora who was a great singer in Newport Town. <clears throat> Here by the monarch air banks I stray with the lovely flowers in joy. The birds were singing merrily and the meadows in Full bloom. When on my boyhood days I think the tears come rolling down, for it's in the morning I must leave you, dear old Newport Town. I grow lonely as I meet each lad and comely lass who once did greet me on my way to early mass with their winning ways and greetings as 
they pass me up and down. Oh, my heart will break when leave I'll take from dear old Beaufort town. Tipperary's hills and dells farewell, from you I now must part. I'll ne'er again roam Cullen's groves, sure the thought here breaks my heart. When I think of the hurling and the dance and keepers a summer brown and the days I pleased in the turn hole near dear old Beaufort town. May Dora rest in peace. Lovely Anne. Anne. Lovely Anne. Lovely. <laughs> over now to my small sister. <laughs> Your young sister. See. Hello, Sadie. No, my small one. My <laughs> small one. <laughs> Hello, Sadie. I'm a bit bigger. <laughs> Hello, I know. Great to see you, Sadie. Well, um, and you too, and all of you. Sadie's <laughs> the engineer for the night. <laughs> Just about. But, um, well, my voice isn't very good now at the moment. Um, I'm a bit <laughs> hoarse, but I'll only sing one or two verses. But first of all, um, I just want to say that um, myself, my younger sister Eileen, who's not here now tonight, but we, we used to compete against Nora at Flag Hills. And, um, you know, sometimes Nora would beat us and sometimes we would beat Nora. But we were just saying lately when we were talking about her that, the, you know, she, she, there was not an ounce of resentment in her. You know, she was always so delighted for us to know her when you'd win. You know, there was never, she'd never resent it, you know. But um, it, um, I remember her mother and father, and uh, they were just two lovely people. I think a good description would be salt of the earth, you know, just really sure. nice, genuine people. They were just lovely. And they were so proud of her, so proud of her. But... Um, she gave me, anyway, the All-Ireland once. <laughs> Maybe, <girl> Nora. <laughs> Maybe it was a pull. <laughs> but, um, that was not fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she, and, she, and my sister Eileen then was younger. Eileen won the All-Ireland as well. But Eileen said, even though we knew Nora very well, she said after the competition, <clears throat> she went up to Eileen and she said, um, you deserve that now, Eileen. I know you. And that was the reason I gave it to you. I gave it to you because you deserved it, you know, and it meant a lot, meant a lot to her, she said. But when I sang, I sang um, The Lowlands of Holland, and oh. so that's when I won the All-Ireland. So um, maybe I'll sing about two or three verses of that, but uh, my voice isn't the great, but I'll have a go anyway. Obviously. <clears throat> and might have to bail me out, yes. Oh, yes, I'm the bail, yeah, I'm the bail or out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was one more thing, one more thing about Nora before I go. She absolutely adored the ground and walked her. And it's a great one for telling the stories. And the minute Anne would start, she'd be only a minute into the story and Nora would be on the floor laughing. <laughs> she just, she just really shocking. enjoyed him. <clears throat> anyway, this horse voice, here we go. On the night that I got married and lay on marriage bed, up comes a bold sea captain and he stood at my bedstead. Sing, arise, arise, young married man, and come along with me to the low, low lands of friend, to I the enemy. 
Thank you. Great to see you, girls. Be better, <laughs> no, not at all. Lovely to see you, and thanks so much. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you, Aline. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. And, uh, we're nearly thank come you. to the end of the program. I hope Mick isn't tearing his hair out there over the time, but um. Oh, we'll stop with him. We're not. No, look at, before we before we finish up, um, we've just a couple of more items to do, but I just want to. Uh, express my thanks to everyone who joined in and everyone who 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 zoomed in. I'm only getting used to the zooming. Only for you, Mick, I'd never get on the zoom. But anyway, <clears throat> just to thank everyone who zoomed in to listen, <laughs> joined us to listen to the lovely singing of everyone tonight and the lovely tributes to Nora, which are very very well deserved. A wonderful person, as everyone says, generous with her songs generous generous to a fault you know she had a great house herself and her mother and mary and the mall they were always so generous to anyone that came to nina or passed through nina butler's was always the house for the tea you know there was, a, there was an open house wonderful wonderful people and um we we miss nora i miss her very much very much and i know mary her sister if i miss her i don't know how poor mary feels because we we send our sympathy and our heartfelt condolences to mary on behalf of everyone and, um, you know, we won't forget Nora, but we'll keep in touch with Mary and keep the, 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 the contact with the great Butler family, the great Butler family. And I'd just like to thank Melanie Scott of Tipperary County Council, who, who um, came up with this, uh, facilitated all this uh, to be put together and um, got Mick and Aileen involved. And thank you for not alone tonight, but for the whole series that you have done about Tipperary. Up tip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get that in, up tip. And, um, you know, it's just wonderful that uh, we have such a great arts officer in Nina. We're lucky to have Melanie, and I know it from my own experience of her. She's a wonderful person, and she has great vision and, you know, sees past all the, you know, what, what needs to be looked after. And it, this, was, this was a great idea tonight. And thank you very much to everyone. I think we're going to have, Mick, we're going to have a little bit of Nora singing, um, I can't think of the name of the song. Lock Sheelan, is it? Lock Sheelan Side. I think it's Lock Sheelan Side. And then after that, then, um, I'm going to ask Deirdre if we have time, Mick, have we time? Of course we have, loads of time. Yeah. I was going to ask Deirdre if um, Deirdre would lead us in the song, The Parting Glass, for us to all end the evening with that and bid farewell to Nora. And think about her and thanks very much to everyone and if you'd like to say anything make a radio if you'd like to say anything there no i'll take the song on 
Okay. One second. So we're going to listen to Nora now singing Loch Sheel inside from her last recording. Farewell, Lord Ireland, a long farewell. My bitter anguish, no tongue can tell. For I must see Lord the ocean wide from my cottage home by Loch Sheel and Side. How proud was I of my girls, so tall, in feet most by the island when I took I lead my fond young bride to my cottage home by Loch Sheeran side. But oh, those good times were not to last. The landlord came our home to blast. He drove us out in the blinding snow, and from Loch Sheen we were forced to go. No one would open to us their door, for fear his vengeance on them might fall. For I fainted in my arms and died on that snowy night by Loch Sheeran's side. They buried her in the churchyard low, while in the springtime the daisies grow. Sad tears were shed for my fond young bride, who is sleeping now by Loch Sheen's So farewell, my country, farewell for me. My ship will soon bear me far. Way. Yet my fond heart will still abide near to my limbs, brave. I love she. Beautiful. Beautiful. May you rest in peace, Nora. The bit of heaven to you, Nora, and may you rest in peace, and Pat, and your mum and dad, and Mary's husband, Billy. We remember Billy as well. So, thanks again to everyone. We hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks, Mick. Thanks, Aileen. Thanks, Melanie, the organisers. Thank you. And um, we'll go over to Deirdre Scanlon, and maybe Deirdre would lead us off in the parting glass, and we'll join in in the chorus. Okay, everyone at home can join in if they feel like it. Beautifully done, Eileen. Good friends and companions together combine. Come raise up your glasses in chorus with mine. We will drink and be merry. Good drink to refrain, for we may or might never all meet here again. So here's a health to the company and one to my lass. We will drink and be merry, all out of one glass. We will drink and be merry, go drink to refrain, for we may or might never all meet here again. 
Here's a health to the wee lass that I love so well. For style and for beauty, there's none can excel. She's a smile on her countenance as she sits on my knee. Oh, there's none in this wide world as happy as me. So here's a health to the company and one to my guests. We will drink and be merry all out of one glass. We will drink and be merry. Good drink to refrain, for we may or might never all meet here again. Our ship lies at anchor and ready to dock. I pray her safe landing without shake or shock. And as we are sailing to the land of the free, I will always remember your kindness to me. So here's a health to the company and one to my last. We drink and be merry, all out of one glass. We will drink and be merry, good drink to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Rest in peace, Nora. Rest in peace, Nora. Slana Walia. Slana Walia. Gramina Margaret. Slana Walia. Eileen. Yes, Mike. Will we unmute everyone so people can have a, a last word before they go? Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. yeah up to you. Unmute it all. You press all the buttons, Mike. I, I don't know what buttons I'm pressing, I'll be honest with you. I'm pressing the queer buttons here. Uh, Go yeah. to more, yeah. We'll have to unmute themselves. Everyone will have you'll have to unmute yourselves if you want to come in to say hello or goodbye. Uh, hurry on at all. We didn't let you come in singing in the last song because Zoom is a queer yoke. Once you get two or three voices in it at all, it'll just the sound will disappear. Um, so I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm yeah you, I think you should. Yeah, you, you should be able to unmute yourselves now yeah, yeah. for a little bit of madness and a few goodbyes at the end. Oh, that work? that was working. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Michael and Aileen, and Eileen. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for everybody doing what they done tonight. Brilliant night. Good night. Absolutely round of applause for doing such a fantastic job. Hey, well done, Thanks, John. Thanks, John.